Today we're going to be comparing how much £100 can get you in the UK's most expensive and cheapest city according to AI. So what food, drinks and activities can we do before the budget runs out? A big thank you to TrainPal for sponsoring this video and helping us get up to the cheapest city later on. So we start with supposedly the most expensive city in the UK, which I don't think will surprise anyone, London. Hi, can I please have a chocolate croissant and a latte, a decaf latte with oat milk? Thank you very much. I love recording days like this. How much does this cost? I'm not going to lie, that is a bag and latte. The chocolate croissant. 50. £6.50. Say so you've got this every day, like five days a week, whilst you're going to work or something. £13, £26, £26 plus. If you've got it every day when you're coming to work, a coffee and a croissant would be £32.50. Cheers. You eat this bit. <laughs> solid breakfast. We've just hopped in a cab because we're going to go do an activity. So we were supposed to get a bulk because it's going to be cheaper to fit into the budget of today, but the bulk cancelled on us. So we've hopped in a cab because we're on a time limit and the starting rate for the cab was 3.80. I think that's quite expensive, but it's just what black cabs charge in London. We are on our way to go and paint some pottery because we figured we needed like an activity, one that was kind of interesting to watch. And I'm now sitting here realizing that I am literally taking you to go watch paint dry. 21.80 in total. Thank you, can I have my card please? I'm covering my mic because there's music in here and we don't want to get copyrighted. I'm going to paint smudge a water bowl. So I'm just going to paint a little smudge on the mid and the inside of the bowl and then paint it blue because it's for water. That's his little nose and then his blob comes down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's right there. <laughs> At the moment he looks like Batman. I'm Batman. God, I'm artistic. We're on a, like a time schedule, so I don't have time to make him perfect. Otherwise, I'm telling you, this would be hanging up in a museum somewhere. Honestly, trying to find a train to catch these days has been stressful enough. So today, as we're talking about money, it seems only appropriate to have a money-saving app, TrainPal, to help us get our trains. I'm at Euston right now, and I'm gonna book my train straight to Liverpool using the TrainPal app. It's simple to use and offers cheap tickets by splitting train tickets, and there are no booking fees. And you can download all of your tickets directly onto the app. I also have a rail card. The day I had to switch from 16 to 25 to 26 to 30 was severely humbling. But you can save 34% off when you buy a rail card using my code SHANNON on TrainPal. Also, new users can get up to 5% off and old users can get up to 2% off UK and Euro trains. You can record your travel path through the TrainPal app and TrainPal's eco policy means that by encouraging low carbon travels, users can contribute to planting trees in real life. You can download the app now by using the link in the description and get your discounts by using code SHANNON. Thank you again to Train Pal, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm way too competitive for this to be rushed. I know, but I'm competing against myself. Like, I want it to be good. I'm competing against everyone who's ever done pottery ever. Okay, we're on to the outside now. So much is done in the middle. 10 minutes. Oof. I've really smashed this on a, on a time scale. Look at Smudgy in there. What a sweet boy. The gasp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> He's done. Personally, I think Smudge is going to love it. Oh, that one. Can I just get the Michael's chicken? Yeah, that slaps. £12 for this. I don't think you could do it every day. £12 for lunch is quite a lot. 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Sixty. Yeah. Sixty pounds. <laughs> Sixty pounds for lunch is quite a lot. Oh, wait, wait. I wouldn't want to go back to work after eating this though because it's so garlicky. And I can't normally eat garlic, so don't come near me today, Sean. These public toilets are going to be seeing, uh, seeing me in a short while. Hang on. One more bite. Look at this. I shouldn't be allowed out in public. <laughs> also, this is huge. Like half of this would definitely be enough. You could save the other half for like your lunch tomorrow and then you're halfing your spending. Money saving with Shannon Langdon. Just stuck your mic in the mayo. I did just stick my mic in the mayo, yeah. That is banging and I do think it's a really good lunch. Compared to like a meal deal. Actually, yeah, compared to a meal deal, which would be like £3.50, £4, that is quite expensive when you think about it. And it is just a sandwich at the end of the day. Yeah, it's quite expensive. But as a treat once now and again, I don't think £9.50 is too expensive. I'm a mess. <laughs> it's not even halfway through the, well, we're just halfway through the day and I'm a mess. Anyway, that was lunch. So we've got about 30, just over 30 pounds left. So we're gonna be traditional Brits, 
and go and have a drink. We picked up a stray along the way. <laughs> he is here because I don't drink beer. May I please have a uh, uh, new fans martini? Okay, so, oh, that's quite good for a cocktail, actually. 11 pounds for a porn star martini. That's quite good, I think. 6 pounds 71 for a PL as well. That's quite a lot. Is it? I don't drink beer, I have no idea. Standard London at the moment, I'd say, is about seven pounds, which is absolutely outrageous. I don't buy beer, so I have no <laughs> idea. I was like, six pounds seventy? No, four. <laughs> what about more expensive beer? Oh, you've got the most expensive yeah. one. <laughs> Typical Mia. I said, it's on me. <laughs> okay, I'll have your the most expensive one. Your drink's literally more uh, expensive than mine. Pine Expert, give us a review what of your pint. What did I get again? I, um... Pale Ale. All right, let's go in for the taste test. Oh God, that was a few glugs. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Lord, girl, get we it walked, down you. We walked five minutes here. Um, I've worked up a sweat. <laughs> well, God, you've done all year. <laughs> really good. It's worth the six pound. How much was it? Six pounds. Six pounds seventy-five. So worth it. I love London. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone a bit funky. They yeah. haven't put real fruit juice in there. That's why it's eleven pounds. To be fair, I feel like a proper porn star martini in like a fancy bar will be like sixteen, seventeen pounds. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I feel like this isn't the average porn star martini you get in London. No, we've it's got like a bad a bar. Yeah, we've got a bad representation here. Cheers. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Quite nice. I like nice. it. It's quite nice. <laughs> we'll work out the exact. I think we've got about twelve pounds left. Yeah, That's some food. Yeah. Come on. Cheese, yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Cheese, please. Oh, 1410. Do we have that budget? I can't get the cheese on the budget. Okay. We can't, we gotta pay uh, and then. You wanna take out the cheese? Yeah, take out the cheese, please. Thank you very much, 12 pounds. That is like 99, 98 pounds? Maybe like 98, 60 or something. To be fair, I was not expecting to do this much in London today for 100, that, that much money. It's been a full day. It's been a full day of like, Food, activities. So this is what, 12 pounds is the last of our budget today. Ooh. Tacos. Ah. Ooh. Decent amount of food, to I've be fair. I've had the tacos from here before and they are actually very, very good. It's gonna go everywhere. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, it's all on my fingers. Rating, out of 10. Oh, it's like an eight. The cheese, it would have been a nine. It's so fresh, like the salsa is really, really fresh. I would say a pretty successful day overall for 100 pounds. I would say we've done a lot. She would agree, if she could speak. It was then time to head to the cheapest city, which I was a bit surprised at, was Liverpool. <laughs> We're, here. We're here. We have arrived at Liverpool. Let's go. Starting off with the same breakfast that we had in London. One pie chocolate, one latte with oat milk, please. Actually, can I have a flat white with oat milk, please? Thank you. Well, one, the pastry's warm, which is just the best thing ever. So that's already boosted it. It doesn't look as appetizing as the last one, I won't lie to you. It tastes like my childhood. My mum used to give me these for breakfast every day. Everyone here is in a lot close ear proximity, so I'll give you the rating after. <laughs> Ooh, ah. There's not a lot of chucky in it. Compared to the other one, how expensive? It was more expensive. So it was an extra 25p extra. More expensive so far. The plan isn't planning at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was 25p more expensive and the pastry did taste like something you just get at like Tesco's, but they did heat up, so that was good. But I, I'm saying that London was better on all fronts. London is a big dub and the video's gone to shit. So we're gonna go get a taxi now. The last taxi in London cost 21, something like that. So let's see how much this one costs. So taxi starting rate in London was 380. Taxing starting rate here is God, one pound and eight pence. It is one pound eight pence. That is mad. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I zoomed in. Oh my goodness, that is so much less. Ah. Gasp. Gasp. Liverpool comes back with a big fat equaliser with a taxi. We're one one at the moment. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, I could so do sports commentary. <laughs> and we're one one at. Half it's not half time uh, though. In the first quarter. Sport, they don't really use first quarter in football. <laughs> whatever sport, whatever sport we're talking about, we're one one in the first quarter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, a toll. <gasps> the 
wonder if they charge you extra for the toll. 1680. Oh, toll charge. Liverpool, look. Toll charge five pounds. Okay. Well, that adds up. Damn it. I don't know why I'm saying damn it. I want London to win. London is my city. <laughs> <laughs> God, I crack myself up. And off we go. Where are we going? Thanks for asking. <laughs> We're going to the farm. Because last time, I took you to watch paint dry. And what's more fun than that? Watching pigs shit, apparently. Off we bloody well go. I don't know what it is about filming in different places, but like, I just get a bit silly. Like, <laughs> just go a bit silly. I feel like, I don't know. So it's like I'm on holiday. We're at the farm. We don't know how much it's going to cost us, but we think it's just donations. Come on. Sheep. Becky should be here. <laughs> oh, there's. She's not a sheep. She just shags them. Oh, and goats. Look at that. What noise do goats make? Isn't it the same noise as sheep? <laughs> Sorry, go again. <laughs> Do you not think that was accurate? <laughs> They're very woolly at the moment, aren't they? I thought shearing season would have already happen because it's spring. Oh no, that's just when they take their little babies and <laughs> Yeah, let's go see if we can get some food. Animal feed. <laughs> you didn't like me before, now I have food. Oh, here <laughs> they come. They come running. Hello. Hello. How do I feed? I don't want to feed them out of my hands. What if they bite me? No, you have to do like flat Are you sure? Yeah. Are they going to bite me? Okay, are you sure? Do you want me to do it first? Yeah, you do it first. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. You ready? Go on. There you go. Oh, thanks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it gross? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> so gross. I don't think I enjoyed that. I'm not meant for the farm. Oh, he's following us. Sorry, sir. No more for you. Oh my God, that was so gross. Come on. See, they come flocking. This is how I get the men to. Treats. Treats. <laughs> oh, careful. I mean, I don't know. Are you going to bite me? Oh my God, you look deranged. Please don't bite me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do this gently. You're gonna. You're gonna stay out. Okay. Hang on. Gently. Okay. Bye. Thanks. It's nice to meet you. It's like speed dating. Duckies. Gooseies. No. Oh Jesus! Look at him go. It's chicken run. I don't think he wants it. Oh, sir! Thanks for playing. Bye. Look at that little house over there. I know someone that could fit in that. <laughs> hey, piggies. Apparently, pigs are quite intelligent. I think they're like maybe the equivalent of like a toddler. A toddler? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're the equivalent to a toddler. Oh, oh look at them. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just got a waft of the pig. Hit the tonsils, that. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> right in the tonsils. Okay, moving on. Bye, piggies. Oh my god, should I record that and then set it as an alarm for my housemates? <laughs> You're gonna shit me up when you do it, aren't you? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. At least I didn't drop the camera. <laughs> that was so loud. Well, I would say that's a nice day out. Would I say it's more fun than pottery painting? I'd put it at a basic level, but you could come here. They like. There's nowhere to pay, like we're gonna leave a donation, but there's nowhere to pay. So like you can come here for free if you want to. You do leave with a headache though. I enjoyed that, did you? Yeah, yeah. it was really cute. I, I really enjoyed when I fed the animals and they slobbered all over my hand. You sound like you're writing a school report. We're going to get a chicken sandwich. We're gonna compare the prices. This is a chicken sandwich place we also found on TikTok. All right, back to the drawing board. By the drawing board, I mean TikTok, because this place closed a year ago. Liverpool is really losing this battle, I'm not gonna to lie to you. <laughs> Sorry, Liverpool. Okay, so we are making our way. The restaurant moved. So we found where it moved to. It keeps trying to escape us, but it got out for us. Um, we couldn't find it anywhere, so we had to ask somebody and they took us down this alleyway, so. Yeah, yeah, Thank so you. What do I get? You want fried chicken? How about a... Shut the, shut the click up. Shut the click up. Or original? Can we just get an original, please? Yeah. Thank you. 
really working. I make YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, have you great. Thanks. Oh, I like it here. <laughs> In our little alleyway. <laughs> yeah, show the alleyway. <laughs> this, this is what you see. You turn a corner and it's just that. And then a little window. <laughs> they said they're the most ordered, like they sell more than KFC in Liverpool, which is mad. Oh, careful. I'll just move further down the alleyway. Further down the alleyway. Oh, like they, they said they're like the top burger place in, in Liverpool. Like nobody really comes to order here because they just Uber eats it. And they're still that popular. It better be a good burger. <laughs> oh boy, he's hyped himself up. <laughs> this is all of the food we got. The guy there was so nice. Like, I'm excited to try this, but he was so nice. It makes me want to go back, even if it's not like 10 out of 10 food. I can't even see you behind the bag. I need to find the sandwich. There, there she is. There she is. Oh, I like how it comes in these boxes. So you can just like, really open good. it up. Oh, that does look good. So last time for 12 pounds, we just got the sandwich and a water. Did the water yeah. come in that? Whereas this time for nine, 99 we got the sandwich, chippies and a drink. Winner. Winner. Oh my Winner, winner, god. chicken. Try that. Chicken lunch. Chicken lunch. Oh my god. The salt on that. Oh, that is really nice. It's incredible. Incredible. Oh my god, I love how it comes in this. It's like a plate. Mmm. Oh, this is such a good idea. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> this looks amazing. Oh no, god. What does it look like in there? It tastes like a fresh, better McDonald's. Well, he said like everything's cooked fresh. Like we were waiting for a little bit, but we, yeah, like, that was fine for us. The wait was longer than the last place, mm. but it tastes every like this tastes so fresh. The other one was that like, it was really good. Like it was good, but this just I love the pickles in it as well. If you're a pickle fan, mm. hold on. Oh, that How big that bit of chicken is. It is massive. Also, all of this for 9 99 is like a pretty good deal, mm. right? Yeah, I'd say so. Especially if it's like the quality that it is. Also, we're comparing it to London. Oh yeah. All of this mm. for 9 99 compared to what we got in London is definitely a lot more food. Mm. And this is so fresh as well. Oh my God. At least an 8.5, definitely a nine. It's just so fresh. I want to like talk more about it, but I just have nothing else to say other than like it's just good. And I would recommend big up the Nashville Clark. Cheers. Okay, we're done with chicken. We found the bars. I've only been to Liverpool once. It was on a night out, surprisingly, with Bambino Becky, and we ended up on a bar dancing. I'm so tired now. I just, I just want to go back to London. I've completely lost my energy. I won't lie to you. I'm in a food coma, coma, and I've completely lost the ability to speak and my energy. I just, I want a drink, and I want to go home. Oh. This is where I danced on the bar. This is where you went? This is where I danced on the bar. Oh, if only they were open, we could have a gone classic. for round two. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> and cheers, big ears. A Peroni and a Mojito, please, yeah. 12.50 for both of them, nice. Thank you very much. The cocktail's eight pound and the Peroni was 4.50. A lot, a lot cheaper than London. Last time we had our resident beer drinker with us. This time, I don't drink beer, <laughs> neither does Sean, but I felt like I had to do it for the video. So I'm also gonna try it for the video. I got a Peroni, because I've heard people say that before. I just don't like it, right, come on. It's actually not the worst beer I've ever had. It's the aftertaste. Like, no wonder you have to keep drinking it, because once the aftertaste hits you, it just covers your tongue. You have to keep drinking, like you promised. I could see how that could be enjoyable. For £4.50? Yeah, it's the best beer I've ever bloody had. Let's see if the mojitos is good. Yeah, mojito slaps. Better than London, I would say. Eight pounds. The other one was eleven pounds. Three pounds cheaper. Quick maths. And this was four pounds. Four fifty. That is good. We're in like a very barry part as well. It's not like we've gone to like a rural part of Liverpool. If there is a rural part of Liverpool. That was the farm. That was the <laughs> we were there earlier. Big dub for Liverpool. Starting with breakfast. London one nil. Then we went to activity. I would say Liverpool because it was free. Well, we had to, only had to do a donation, which was sick. And then lunch is pretty even. Okay, so that was Liverpool. That's Liverpool rounded up. All together, everything except for the taxi ended up cheaper. Well, the breakfast was like the same amount. It was like 20p, 30p more expensive. But everything else was cheaper. And it was the um, the taxi that tip us, tipped us over. I'm going to say ChatGPT was wrong because I think there are definitely places we could go that would be cheaper than this. I was surprised when it said Liverpool, but here we are. Maybe we'll do another one where we do London versus somewhere else. And if you know your city is cheaper, I will come there and we'll get a drink. Me and you and Sean. Hey. <laughs>